And welcome to my Chinese takeaway in five cook along. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be sharing dishes from my Chinese takeaway in five cookbook. Now tonight's dish is a little bit of a play of the satay chicken that everybody loves. Um, and what we're doing, we're actually going to mix that with some noodles. So tonight's dish is a satay chicken udon noodle. And again, we look at the ingredients on the chopping board. We have one onion, number one, a red pepper, number two, some ready to wok um, udon noodles. And literally, I've just opened the packet and emptied them into the bowl. Satay sauce. Now, use your favorite satay sauce. I personally like Jimmy's satay sauce. And all I've done, I've taken a tablespoon and a half of Jimmy's satay sauce. And just purely because I like the nuts, I've put some peanut butter in it as well. But you can use straight from the jar satay sauce, okay? And I have one chicken breast that I've sliced. Chinese Takeaway Kitchen now is fully, completely filmed. Um, and the guys are working hard to do the edit. And the show comes out on the 12th of February on Amazon Prime. So um, please do have a look out. Um, I believe um, the Roku and Amazon Fire channels have launched. Obviously the program's not on there yet, and they are just, it is just a channel. So if you do have Roku or Amazon Fire, if you, if you um, put a search in for Chinese Takeaway Kitchen, you'll see that the channel's there, just waiting for the content now, okay? Because we're cooking noodles, guys, and I want everything to eat kind of like together, I'm gonna to chop my onions into strips, okay? So, um, obviously, just chopped it in half, taking the ends off, and you can see that I've just cut them into thin pieces like that. And I'll do the same here. Same goes for the pepper, so, I'm gonna just take out the stalk and the seeds in the center, which is dead simple. I'm only gonna use half. The foodie slimmer, can't wait for the show. Thank you, um, it's Charles, isn't it? Um, look, Charles and I were supposed to be doing a uh, collaboration this month, actually, and obviously due to lockdown, we've had to postpone it. Now, um, Charles is a um, foodie, and um, like many of us, has been pretty much on a diet his entire life. So we're gonna have a play with some dishes and make them just that little bit healthier if you're on one of the big slimming things like Slimming World or Weight Watchers or something like that. So we're gonna have a play anyway and try and come up with a couple of really nice tasting dishes just for you guys. So I've just placed my wok on, it is non-stick so I can add my oil now. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon and a little bit, so a tablespoon and a bit of oil. So that's one of the um, store cover essentials. And there's my five. Any tips on how to keep the wok hot when cooking? Yeah, I go through this. When I was doing my lives last year, um, it's all about not overcrowding your pan. So because we are only cooking on a, small, on a small flame when we cook at home, the idea is that we cook and we add the ingredients a bit at a time. If we crowd the pan, the heat comes down and we lose that frying. Now, um, my chicken isn't cooked, but it is cut really thin. So I'm gonna add my onions first of all. And you can hear it sizzling away already. And I'm just gonna cook these for about 40 seconds to a minute, just to take on a little bit of color. And then I'll get my chicken in, and the chicken will only take two or three minutes to cook anyway. My onions are frying away, they've been in there for about 30 seconds so far. They are taking on just a little bit of color already. I'm now just gonna clear the center of the wok and I'm gonna pop in my sliced chicken breast. That can go to one side. And I'm just gonna fan out the chicken so the chicken is in direct contact with the flat bottom of the wok. And just like the onions, I'm gonna try and get that caramelization. Now I do this by leaving it alone. And we're talking about retaining heat within the wok. This is how we do it. So at the moment, we put the onions in, the wok temperature came down, and then it came back up again. We've just put the chicken in, temperatures come back down again. So we're gonna give it a second or two just to you know, regain its thoughts and start pumping that heat back through. My chicken and onions are nice and brown now. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing that I did with the onions and the chicken. I'm gonna get the peppers in, and then once I've moved it around a little bit, I'm gonna leave it alone. So I just need to get that heat back into the wok. So I've just added my straight to wok udon noodles. 
and we're just going to give these a good stir and I'm just going to try and warm these through as they warm they will naturally soften at the moment they're quite stiff and they don't want to do anything but as they warm up they will loosen off uh, if you can see in there already, sort of like um, you can see those lovely colours and the caramelisation that we've got in that chicken, just by leaving the wok alone and letting it get regain its thoughts and get the heat back in there. Okay, so if you can see, my noodles have softened. So at this point, I'm going to add my satay sauce, and it really is just a matter of incorporating this now and we're gonna have a fantastic satay chicken oodle supper. Oh, I am anyway. If, you, um, if you're not cooking at home, I do apologize, because you are missing out. And I can guarantee my mum will text me after this on WhatsApp and say, oh, that looked really good, I could just eat that now. So, um, heat goes off. And I'll just, Pop this into here. Now, part of a meal, this is enough for two people. If you're gonna eat this just on its own, maybe just for one. So let's give this a try. Let's get some of these noodles. If you're a satay lover of any description, especially satay chicken actually, I've got to give this dish a go. And there we have it guys. My satay chicken udon noodles. Recipes in my Chinese takeaway in five takeaway in cookbook, which is available on pre-order and out 21st of January.